This is a documentation on how to make a viscosity monotype without the use of a large roller. This method will enable you to make a print without the use of a press and your print can be as large as your paper and press bit allows. One of your prints will be on vellum and the other prints will be on paper. For this process, you will need plexiglass plate in any size or shape that you wish to work. Paint brushes for your painting. Masking tape, preferably one and a half inch or larger. Rubber gloves. Rollers. I usually use a 3 inch roller, palette knives, vellum, make sure the vellum is larger than your sheet of plexiglass, rags for cleanup, and of course printer's inks. You will need plate oil to paint oh. your painting and cobalt dryer for the viscosity ink. Select a plexiglass plate for your painting. Place it on top your sheet of vellum and tape around the edges so that it is exactly the same size. Then tape your piece of vellum to a larger plexiglass plate so that it, it is stable. I have completed my painting and will set it aside while I mix my dry ink. Into the dry ink I put three drops of cobalt dryer. I mix it thoroughly. This enables the ink to dry on the vellum. If your ink is too oily, add magnesium carbonate. Be sure to mix everything thoroughly. Now take your small roller and roll an even layer of ink onto your piece of vellum. Make sure you get close to each edge and that it is an even layer. You can pick up the large plexiglass sheet to see through to make sure that you do have an even layer of ink. You are now ready to remove the tapes from your sheet of vellum. Be careful doing this. It is easy to get ink onto the vellum at this point. This sheet of vellum takes the place of the roller in the viscosity process. With the vellum on the table, hold the plexiglass plate over it to position it exactly. Lower the plate onto the inked surface and press. You can flip the two pieces over without worry that they will disconnect. Use your hand to press the back of the vellum or use a clean dry roller to apply pressure. To check the progress, pull up a corner and check for coverage. Apply pressure to exact areas with your fingertips. When you are satisfied, pull the vellum off the plate and set it aside. The vellum piece does not go to the press and must be dried on a flat surface, not hanging. It should dry in three to four days. If you are using a press, it is now time to print the plexiglass plate onto paper. I hope that you enjoy this viscosity process as much as I do. It is a simple way to achieve viscosity without the large roller. Thank you very much for listening.